All right, so on top of the new LR Super Saiyan Future Gohan and Trunks, JP is also going to be getting five additional Extreme Z Awakenings that are all really, really impressive. So without further ado, let's check them out, starting with the big one, which is the Dokkan Fest, Fizz Super Saiyan Future Gohan. So before the Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill is Future Saga Key plus 3, HP plus 130%, and Attack and Defense plus 100 and 70%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage, and passive is attack plus 100%, raises defense by up to 100%. The less HP remaining, the greater the defense boost, and then damage received minus 10% at the start of every turn up to 50%. So as far as a Dokkan Fest category lead goes, it was definitely one of the weakest in the game, in my opinion. I mean, his offense, his damage was just really, really low. And his defense, uh, while it could be pretty good with the built-up damage reduction after a few appearances, it was just never really that consistent, in my opinion. But of course, with the Extreme Z Awakening, he does get a massive improvement and is now arguably one of the best TURs in the game. So, new leader skill is Future Saga Key Plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, so instead of HP plus 130%, now it's 170% across the board. And then super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And passive is attack plus 158%, raises defense by up to 158%. The less HP remaining, the greater the defense boost, reduces damage received by 30%, reduces damage received by an additional 7% at the start of every turn up to 28%. So basically, he gets the 30% right off the bat, and then he gets up to 58% damage reduction after 5 turns as opposed to 50% uh, before the EZA. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 120%, and medium chance of performing a critical hit when your team has a Future Saga category ally whose name includes Trunks, attacking in the same turn. Now, of course, if you want to get the full passive, you want to get the full potential of this unit, you will have to run him with a Future Saga Trunks, or at least a card that has a Future Saga Trunks in it. Um, but the good thing is that there are a lot of options in that department, right? There are many Future Saga Trunkses to choose from to run with this guy, so it really shouldn't be that hard to fulfill this condition. And uh, when he has his full passive, he is going to be extremely powerful, guys. I mean, he's getting a huge attack boost. He's getting a lot of defense on top of the damage reduction. So he's going to be up there with some of the best tanks in the entire game. And uh, he also has a medium chance to crit. So that's going to help him hit even harder. So uh, overall, I really don't have any complaints about this EZA. I think it's very, very good. And of course, his stats also get a massive boost. So um, after the Extreme Z Awakening, uh, at rainbow status, his HP goes up to 21,301, attack up to 17,179, and defense up to 12,867, which is absolutely crazy. So the attack, honestly, is a little bit on the lower end for a Dokkan Fest unit, but the defense is one of the highest I've seen. So like I said, man, he's going to be one of the better tanks in the game, no question. And uh, he shouldn't be lacking in uh, damage either. So that is the Fizz Super Saiyan Future Gohan Extreme Z Awakening. Now let's move on to the next one, which is for the AGL Bullpen. And the next four EZAs are all the, uh, well, not all of them, but a couple of fusions collab units. So we got Bullpen, we got Karoli, Pandel, and Barlot. And Honestly, I was not expecting any of these units to get Extreme Z Awakenings. I thought that they would just be forgotten unless we got like another Fusions collab, which was not likely. So I never thought these units would get Extreme Z Awakenings, but obviously I'm happy about it. So let's start with the bullpen. Before the easy yay, leader skill is AGL types, key plus three. Oh, sorry, no, no key. AGL types, HP and defense plus 70% super attack. Uh, supreme damage and passive is all allies key plus three when HP is 30% or above. So she was absolutely awful, guys. I mean, 
<laughs> Let's be honest, this is a terrible passive, this is a terrible leader skill, and the super attack is just whatever, has no additional effect, right? But with the Extreme Z Awakening, her leader skill becomes AGL types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack raises attack and defense plus, or sorry, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 150%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% with each fusion category ally. Attacking on the same turn, self excluded, and then all allies keep plus 3 when HP is 30% or above, which is basically her whole passive before the EZA, and high chance of attacks being effective against all types and high chance of guarding all attacks. So, a uh, massive attack and defense boost up to an additional 60% attack and defense with two other fusion allies, on the rotation, still giving key to allies, and then uh, also a 50% chance for attacks effective against all, which is crazy, that's really good, and also a 50% chance to guard all attacks, which uh, is going to reduce the damage it takes by a lot. So um, yeah, that's just a great Extreme Z Awakening all around, um, especially when you compare it to what she was doing before the EZA, which was nothing really she she did nothing before the EZA so that's uh quite the improvement I would say and do we have her stats after the EZA we do so HP goes up to 16,160 attack up to 15,111 and then defense up to 11,405 so that is the uh pandel or sorry the bullpen for you now let's talk about Karoli which is a fusion of Kakarot and Broly Leader skill before the EZA, tech types, attack and defense plus 70%, uh, super attack, supreme damage, rare chance to stun, which is 10%, or sorry, 20%, and then passive is attack plus 80% at the start of turn. So definitely better than bullpen, but not by a lot, <laughs> not by a lot. So with the Extreme Z Awakening, tech types, Q plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack, supreme damage with a high chance of stunning, and then passive is attack and defense plus 260%, launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack, so that's a 70% chance for this additional attack to be a super attack, and then attack plus 59% when the target enemy is stunned, and since he has a high chance of stunning, um, your chances of getting this is pretty decent, right? So um, this guy is just, I mean, kind of basic, honestly, but he's going to hit really hard. He gets a lot of defense, so tanking-wise, he shouldn't be doing too bad either. And uh, just talk about talk about an upgrade, man. It's just, it's just crazy. And uh, his stats after these, yay, up to 17,212 HP, 15,957 Attack and 10,143 defense. That's Karoli. Now we have Andel. Free easy A int. Uh, leader skills int types. HP and defense plus 70%. Super attack supreme damage. And passive is at attack plus 30% for all allies. After the extremes, the awakening. Int types key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 100%. Super attack supreme damage. And lowers attack and defense. And then passive is attack and defense plus 150%, all allies attack and defense plus 30%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10%, and chance of performing, or sorry, uh, chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus 7% per fusion category ally on the team. So if you're running a few fusions team, then she's getting an additional 70% attack and defense here, and an additional uh, 49%, right? Hold on. Look, Matt's, yes, 49% um, the chance to dodge, which is basically a high chance. Um, that's also very good. So high chance to dodge uh, up to, what is that, 250% attack defense, I guess, if you include the, the support here as well. Um, yeah, damn. Okay, so up to 250%, if my math is correct, attack and defense, and then up to a 49% chance to dodge with a few fusion with a full fusions team. And uh, her stats, uh, when rainbowed after EZA, 16,278 HP, 15,211 attack, and 11,130 defense. And last but not least, we have 
the fusion of the uh, father son combo, uh, Goku and Kekor or sorry, Goku and Bardock, which is the Barlot. Uh, pre easy A, STR types keep plus 3 and attack and defense plus 70% when HP is 30% or above. Super attack uh, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage, and passive is attack plus 15% and defense plus 10%. Her key sphere obtained. So he was like probably the best heroes or rather fusions unit um, without an easy A before, you know, when they first came out. And uh, now he still might be the best. Even with the easy A, he still might be the best. I mean, the, the other couple of Extreme Z Awakenings we've seen so far have all been very impressive, like I said, right? But I think I think Barlot takes this one. So leader skill is SDR types key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. And passive is randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, STR excluded, two STR key spheres. Attack and defense plus 30% per key sphere obtained. Once again, attack and defense plus 30% per key sphere obtained. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% and chance of performing a critical hit plus 15% with three or more key spheres obtained. High chance of launching an additional super attack with five or more key spheres obtained. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% and chance of performing a critical hit, a critical hit plus 15% with seven or more key spheres obtained. There's just a lot going on here, but even if it was just attack and defense plus 30% per key sphere obtained, that would have already been really good. But he's also an orb changer, so he's gonna make it easier for himself to get uh, you know, more key spheres. And with seven key spheres, he's getting uh, an additional attack and defense plus 60%, a 30% chance to crit and also um, a high chance of launching an additional super attack. So he's just doing a lot here, man. He's going to be getting a lot of defense, a lot of attack, of course. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed, guys. I'm impressed with all of these guys, but especially the bar lot, especially the bar lot. And uh, last but not least, we have his stats, which go up to 17,074, or, or rather 17,064 HP, 16,225 attack, and 10,000 659 defense and uh, that does it for the five new extreme z awakenings that are coming in the near future for jp um out of these four fusion zzas let me know in the comments which ones or which one you guys think is the best i think it's bar lot but maybe you guys feel differently and uh, obviously this guy is an absolute monster there's no debate about that so that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video, signing out.